Hi guys, uh, today I'm testing this SOAR MPPT is uh, STMP series. This is a 60M or uh, 3400 watts. Yeah. Let me show you the, the, the specification on the side. Okay, you guys can see, yeah? you can see clearly yeah, no? solar charger 6 STMP60. Yeah. Auto 3 voltage child 2448 and 60M. Uh, I'm using now I'm using a manual mode and connect it to to a a Maxwell only for the 8 volts super capacitor. This is the tester. This is the testing of, of the super capacitor and the this solar charge controller. Okay, I have set it into only maximum voltage of uh, 48 and uh, no more. So um, now it's uh, in the morning, which uh, there's uh, the battery voltage, the, the, the capacitor voltage is 33.9 and uh, incoming PV is 74, you know, okay. 0.9 amp going into the battery, still, still have not click on to the grid time inverter this is a temporary setup it's just our testing so I switch it on then uh, to this so so your source grid time inverter currently currently this has not switched on to the load I'm, I've connected the grid time inverter to the load side of this panel not to the capacitors because uh, they I set okay, two two protections actually first protection is over here so this is a solar source LCD showing this. So 33 volts now, 0.8. So I'm going in, going in again. So I'm setting it to the start voltage at 45, and all battery all voltage at 43, and uh, limit auto grid to limit, and 400 watts. So it's pretty small. It's not very big. Start off with a small one first. Huh? This is a test only. It's a test. So this side. As for this side, you know, the battery voltage is 34. So I've set it, this is the setting, lithium, 48 volts. The empty batteries uh, is, is 39.8. Set it very low, the full voltage is 48. There I've, I've checked the super capacitors, absolute full voltage uh, is 51. So I'm three volts above, uh, three volts uh, away. I'm pretty safe. Uh. Then 25 volts as a uh, empty. 30 volts is start off the load uh, side. So absolute 48. 24 hours to the load lithium. So I'm waiting for for it to turn on the to the load. Uh. But I'm not sure yet. So let's see later when the battery goes up to about 40, 48. So see you later hi guys the charge voltage is coming up for the 6.4 so i set up this side uh, to start to start inverting uh, it starts starts inverting already you know this is this is only only using using the capacitors you know i've connected i've connected to nothing just the capacitors there's no no other things connected here yeah nothing capacitors and i have uh, only two panels of 450 volts now uh incoming so the pv voltage is on is maximum is 92 92 at 900 watts the that's the max uh. so 1.7 m going in 44 let's see let's see now so it's doing the buffer at 43 it may stops the dc voltage it may stops 43 or 42 let's see how it works lah. it works so i do not have to i have a buffer i'm using this capacitors as a buffer you see dc input voltage low so later when it comes back up at 47 when the, the 
the battery voltage come up back in 47.3 over here there's a difference of 0.3 to 0.4 volts so the capacitor should be the buffer for the all the high or the lows for the all those uh, power mismatch between the cloudy days you know the clouds and the uh, fluctuations of the of the uh, PV PV productions so I think this is a success you know everything tested out this is a success so you see waiting this unit the soya sauce soya sauce yeah installed July 30 July 13 this year it's, it's working fine it's working fine as you can see I set up the battery start voltage at uh, 47 so battery off so it will start inverting at 47 and stops at 43 this is the the 43 is the lowest limit for this model 48 models 48 volt battery models and I limit the power to be 400 volts and battery auto limit to click so you will not overpower the grid mm, okay we get back out so it does nothing now mm, it's waiting for the batteries to come up come back up the voltage then this is pretty fine I'll come back you guys when it, it starts it's nearly to start back up again well you see it's inverting and it's, it's reading 374 watts and I'm just importing 2-3 two, two, watts now yeah. this, this works pretty fine this work pretty fine. Now it's early in the morning, 7 a.m. So the the PV voltage is not so much. The PV voltage, you know, 81 something and 2.4 amps, it's not so much. So uh, I'll still have to monitor this. Yeah. I have to monitor this. This is this is working fine now. It's working fine. Mm. Thanks guys. This is a success, you know with just the super capacitors maxwell mm. mm. 2.5 i'm going in 344 so now it's, it's, it stops it stops it's waiting for it to go go back up again so this will cycle keep cycle in in the morning where the pv vote production is, is low but uh, it will tip, uh, max off uh, when the PV production comes up. I think this works quite well. Thanks guys. Bye bye.